Welcome to the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my video lesson is on similar figures and indirect measurement. Our objectives today are that you will demonstrate your understanding of similar figures by finding missing side lengths, and you will understand and be able to use angle-angle similarity. You will also understand how to use similarity to solve indirect measurement problems. Here's the question I'd like you thinking about as I proceed through the lesson today. How can you use what you know about similar figures to find the height of an object much taller than you? Let's begin by reviewing similar triangles. By definition, similar triangles have corresponding sides that are proportional and corresponding angles that are congruent. So we would say that triangle ABC is similar using this squiggle as a symbol to triangle RST. We can see that our angles are labeled with the same lowercase letters, A, A. So angle A corresponds to angle R and is congruent. Angle B corresponds to angle S and they are congruent. Angle C corresponds to angle T and they are congruent, meaning they have the same angle measure. Then, corresponding sides are proportional. So as it's stated, here's side AB, that will correspond to side RS. So just as it's named, those will also tell you the corresponding sides. So side AB is going to correspond to side RS. So that forms a ratio, AB to RS. The next one would be BC to ST. So side BC corresponds to side ST. And last but not least, side AC corresponds to side RT. And you can write these equivalent ratios to form proportions to find missing side lengths. So now it's your turn. I would like you to use that idea of proportional equal ratios of corresponding sides to identify whether or not these figures are similar. Please pause the video now and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So, understanding that similar figures have corresponding sides that are proportional, we're going to identify the corresponding sides. So 6 corresponds to 5, 7 corresponds to 6, and 10 corresponds to 9, and here are our ratios, our corresponding sides are three ratios. We can look and see that six-fifths is not equivalent to seven-sixths. If you can't clearly see that, you could do cross-product property. Six times six is 36. Five times seven is 35. 36 does not equal 35, therefore they're not proportional. Or you can just understand that seven-sixths is not equivalent to ten-ninths. And they are in simplest form. So therefore, since corresponding sides are not proportional, we know that these figures are not similar. Now let's use that idea of similar figures to find a missing side length. So in this problem, it is stated, we are given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, and we are asked to find the value of X. First, I wanna point out to you to be very careful because the orientation of this triangle is turned to this. How I know that is remember that trick about how it's named. Side AB is going to correspond to side DE. So AB is 27 feet, and that corresponds to DE, which is 15 feet. Then AC is labeled 9, and AC first and last will correspond to first and last over here, DF. So 9 corresponds to X. So be very careful when setting up your ratios. So here's our proportion, 27 to 15 is the first pair of corresponding sides, and that will be equivalent to 9 to x. So now we can use cross products to solve, or you could use simpler math. You could say 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. 15 divided by 3 would be 5 or cross products. 27 times x is equal to 9 times 15, which is 135. Divide both sides by 27, and x equals 5. 
Therefore, we know that psi df, that x, is equivalent to 5 feet. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video now, write and solve a proportion to find x. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So first we're going to identify that our corresponding sides, 30 corresponds to x, 35 corresponds to 7, and here's our proportion. Corresponding side, 30 to x, and the second pair, 35 to 7. So now I'm going to use cross products. 35 times x is equal to 30 times 7, which is 210. Divide both sides by 35, and x is equal to 6, or 6 inches. Now we're going to talk about angle-angle similarity. If two angles of a triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then we know that the two triangles are similar. So if these pair of triangles are 24 degrees, these angles, and then we know that both of these angles are labeled 90 degrees, we know that the triangles are similar because the third pair would also be congruent. So you only need to know two pairs of corresponding angles. As soon as we know that those two corresponding pairs of angles are congruent, we can conclude that the triangles are similar. So we're going to use this to use indirect measurement. So indirect measurement is when you have objects that are standing the same angle to the ground. So here I am standing to the ground at a right angle. And here's my tree standing at a right angle. Indirect measurement is a measurement for finding images, missing length, that have perpendicular to the ground. And that way we know that the sun is coming down and shining on them at the same angle. So then we know that these two angles are the same because they're coming, the sun is hitting them at the same angle even though they're different heights. And again, they're both perpendicular to the ground. So since we have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent, we know that the triangle made by my shadow to the ground, because the sun is hitting my head and forming a shadow on the ground, the sun is hitting the tree at the same angle and also forming a shadow on the ground. So although I don't have the way to find the height of the tree by measuring it, I could, on the ground, measure its shadow. I could measure my shadow, and I know my height. So now, let's go ahead and separate this so we can see the two triangles. So if I move my height, my shadow, up here, and then remove it from this image, you can see our two similar triangles. So my height is 5 and a half feet. My shadow is 8.25 feet, or 8 and a quarter feet. The tree, I don't know how tall it is, but I know I've measured its shadow and it's 19 and a half feet. So just make sure that all the units of measure are the same, that they, you don't have inches and feet or feet and yards. And now we can write our proportion because we know that my height, because these are similar figures, two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent, the fit triangles are similar. So corresponding sides will be proportional. So five and a half feet corresponds to X, and 19 and a half feet, the shadow of the tree corresponds to my shadow eight and a quarter feet. And here is our proportion. X to five and a half will be equal to 19 and a half to eight and a quarter. Using cross products to solve, 8.25 times X will be equal to 5.5 times 19.5, which is 107.25. Divide both sides by 8.25, and x is equal to 13, and therefore I can conclude that the height of this tree is 13 feet tall. Now this is your turn. You're going to have a two-part question here. We'll start with part A. Part A, you're asked if these triangles below are similar, and you are asked to explain. I will tell you that this image is just this blue represents a river or a body of water, and you have two triangles here. So go ahead and pause the video now and determine if these figures are similar. Welcome back. So we need to identify using angle-angle similarity if we have two pairs of angles that are congruent. 
So I know that this triangle has a right angle and this triangle has a right angle. So that's one pair of corresponding angles that are congruent. And then I have vertical angles here. So anytime two lines or two line segments are intersected at one point, the opposite angles, vertical angles are congruent. So these angles of these triangles are congruent and then their right angles are. So since I have two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent, I can conclude that using angle-angle similarity, these two triangles are similar. Now here's part B. You and a friend are on opposite sides of a river standing directly across from each other. You want to know how wide the river is and it is too far to measure. So you want to know from here to here and you can't measure that, it's too far. So you stand 12 feet back from the river. So here's the river and you're 12 feet from the river and you have put a flag to your right. Your friend puts a flag to their right and their width of their river is five but we don't know how wide this river is because it's too wide to measure. So I'm gonna ask you to pause and solve now and use what you know about ankle-angle similarity to write and solve a proportion. Welcome back. So here is our solution. We know that corresponding sides, eight is gonna to correspond to five, and here's my first ratio, and then my distance from the river, 12, will correspond to my friend's distance from the river x. Cross product property, eight times x will be equal to five times 12, which is 60. Divide both sides by eight, and x is equal to 7.5 or seven and a half. So we now know that the distance of this river or the width of the river is seven and a half feet. Thank you for joining me today to talk about similar figures, angle-angle similarity, and using that to find indirect measurements. Thank you for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.